What's up guys? I wanted to get another short video out here real quick before I hit the road uh, for a couple days and kind of go radio silent. I was going through my office and cleaning cleaning things up. This office is looks like a tornado goes off most days and um, I got to keep up with the mess and I was going through a lot of stuff, getting rid of some things and came across some old lenses, uh, some Canon FDs and specifically for this video, the uh, 28 millimeter uh, 2.8. I was just intrigued because I hadn't been able, I hadn't used it much, and it's just sat on my shelf behind me. And this thing kills. This thing is awesome. I don't know what it does. I don't know what it brings, but it's just different. Maybe it's me having shot on Sony glass, native Sony glass, for the longest time, and dealing with autofocus. This this lens is fully manual. It's an old um, film photography lens, and uh, it's every, everything's auto on it. So focus, aperture. When I was out shooting, it was just a breath of fresh air. Um, it was I'd slowed things down. I, I, maybe I'm just a fan of everything kind of slowing down. Like you've seen in one of my X100V videos, this lens kind of did the same thing for me. It helped me compose my shots a little bit more, um, just think things through, but also just have fun and, and experiment. This lens isn't perfect. It, I mean, it's got awful um, breathing, focus breathing. Um, not that I'm doing much focus racking. You'll see in, in one of these little shorts that we're gonna do in a minute is that it's only 2.8. If, if it was a higher f-stop, it would help out a little bit in low light, but with the FX3 and the higher base ISO, it helped a lot. It made me think, you know the, the saying, don't, don't invest in the body, invest in the lens and how everyone's so obsessed with film photography. Um, maybe, maybe it's the lenses. And I know there's part of the process with film photography. It, it, it adds that look. But I will say there's a look also to this lens. If you want a special look, I would say go with these lenses or find one and just shoot a lot on it. If you, may, you may be asking too, like how I attach this. Got a Sigma MC11 as the base in between. It is a Velo, I think that's how you say, Velo adapter, which sits in between those and it somehow reaches all the way to an to a E-mount. So we're gonna do something a little bit different on this video. Um, as you've already seen, at the intro to this video was kind of a, a short in itself, me running around, uh, going on a run with my son in the stroller. Well, I kind of created two more little sets, two more little, not, maybe shorts if you want to say just different sets different moods me playing around with this lens in different settings just really having fun um, kind of getting creative playing with music playing with the lights playing with the colors it's easy to get creative with a lens like this so enjoy here's the second little short of this video Now, if you're gonna complain about the grain in this, I would say get over it. Um, yeah, I was shooting at 12,800 ISO. It was nighttime. Uh, the only light was car lights and street lamps. I felt like it kind of added to the look of, of this lens and the mood in general. So like shooting at night, it's kind of just had a, a darker vibe to it. The combination of shooting on that lens with the blooming lights and uh, with even some of that grain and noise, I felt like it looked cool, looked good. Now doing this, I learned really quickly that I am not the best at filming myself. And uh, I know from this, I'll just be getting better. So here's the last little short, a little bit more lighthearted. Here you go. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you can see that this lens is super versatile, uh, that it can fit any mood and story and, and vibe. And I know you can probably do that with any lens, but it's really cool knowing that a lens this cheap, this small, this 
vintage um, can do that. And, and I don't have to go shell out thousands of dollars for another one. I can take an old one off my shelf and, and still do uh, really cool things with it. So hope you enjoyed it. If you have a vintage lens that's your go-to or that you've discovered that is a killer tool, let me know which one it is. But thanks again for watching. Have a good one. See you soon.